man. I'm the only one in here. Hey, you can't be in here. Oh, shit. Screw that. On today's adventure, I traveled to the Bella Mansion, where I was challenged to explore this mansion at night and completely alone for 30 minutes. According to the new owners, this mansion started construction in the late 1970s, but through the two previous owners, it was never completed. The new owners say that the mansion will finally be completed sometime in 2023 and will be turned into a wedding and event venue. The mansion is said to have a different character at night, has strange noises and sounds of things being moved and thrown around the building. Join me as I walk this 24,000 square foot mansion from top to bottom to get a different angle of this massive place at night. What's going on guys? It's your boy Zach on another expedition. So I'm here at the Bella Mansion by myself doing a 30 minute alone challenge for you guys. And I need to keep the light off me so I'm not blinded so that I can, yeah, you know. But you know what guys? Yeah, guys, so this place was built in the 19, late, actually, this was built in the late 1970s, and it's three stories high. I think it was 1977, not 100% sure, but uh, I don't know if you can really tell here, guys, but... It is the mansion has never been completed uh, this is a dumb waiter here and it is super freaking hot there's a lot of water damage here and the, I don't know if you can tell but this wood has been like weather damaged so see all the rot but supposedly this was built by the first owners there's been three or there's three owners of this actual property and this was the top floor that was for um, the ballroom or the party room or whatever um, that was for like like horses and stuff um, so supposedly the owner built this um, uh, this elevator here, and he built it for uh, to bring his horses to bring his horses up here. So he would auction off his horses up here. He would have his guests, and supposedly he would uh, get them drunk, and then they would uh, he would auction off the horses, and they would pay a lot of money for it. But look at this room, guys. This is the third story. Look at those. Wow. Freaking huge. You got, of course, you got the... Uh, I think this was probably goes out to what was going to be a patio. See the door frame there? But, but this now is going to be... I think think the bridal suite I believe um, up here the bridal it's gonna be a wedding venue so this is what this is going to end up being is a wedding venue so wow it is so freaking hot oh my gosh look at this guys it's got even handprints all right, screw that. All right. So this is a spiral staircase that costs hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to build. And wow. 
unfreaking real. Wow. There's the highway. Uh, I'm sure you can hear the road and you're wondering what that background noise is. That's what that is. So, this is like another room here. And this is the second floor, guys. The structure is made pretty much all of steel, cinder blocks, brick, and uh, stone, flagstone. Uh, I think four inch flagstone. Four to six inch flagstone. So, pretty freaking cool. So, this is going to be the, like, where a lot of the, the rooms will be. So this will be, I think, nine suites over here. Really freaking cool. I ain't gonna lie, guys, it is pretty freaky. And I hope, I've been using the light because I know before y'all weren't able to see too far. Oh wow, there's a hole up there in the roof. Very cool. But this is going to be like an upstairs bar and there's going to be a spiral staircase. It's really cool guys. So there was three owners. The first owner was never really even able to complete and didn't even get the roof on the, the building. So it's very interesting. This is the uh, elevator. Very cool. Wow. Very interesting. Freaking awesome staircase. Oh my gosh, look at that daddy leg, long leg. Holy moly, look at that sucker go. Oh, he's bouncing. He's letting me know. Hey, what's up? Dang. There's five fireplaces in this whole building. And as you can see, there's the dumb waiter right there. We think that's the dumb waiter. I think. From just seeing other abandoned buildings and being in other buildings, this is what one looks like. There's the outside. So that over there is the uh, horse barn. Man, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's getting a little freaky here. I don't even know what time we're at. We're only seven minutes in. So this is going to be nine bedroom suites on this floor here. Um, but this is a really cool building. And like I said, I started on the, the third floor for you guys just to come down. Wow. Look at just how big these windows are, guys. Just how big. Oh my gosh, that spider right there. <laughs> this. Oh no, just look how thick that metal is, guys. Steel beams going across. Very cool. Look at this fireplace. Let's go look at it. like gas gas fireplace very cool and they have brick and then the stone would be on top of this it goes outside freaking huge windows guys I mean I, I can't stress enough these are probably about at least eight foot tall eight foot tall windows very cool Oh my gosh, that, that metal snapped. That had to take a lot of pressure for that metal to snap. Hello? Okay, so. Right down.
Now I explored this during the day and I didn't see any of the daddy long legs. I guess they all come out at night. Because I mean they're everywhere. Oh wow. So this is the first floor right here guys. Very cool. So this is the entrance way. So you'd come in and this is what you would see. So freaking cool. Wow. Thought something touched me. So I was in here earlier today and I did feel like something touched me. I thought it was I thought it was Robbie because I was here filming with Robbie and uh, Amy from What the Paranormal and I thought something touched me but it wasn't him. So I looked and he was far away from me. So I don't know. But this place look just look at it. Y'all seeing what I see. I mean look at the spiral staircase. It is really cool. I mean just maybe 40 feet I want to say maybe that's about 40 feet up I think each ceiling I think these are about at least 12 to 15 so maybe just under 40 feet on three stories maybe I don't know maybe 45 feet but we were just up there on the third floor guys so you come in here and you just look up Look at that, guys. Boop! Man. That is so cool. Wow. Hello? What the heck is all that shiny stuff over there? Oh my gosh, guys, kind of freaking out a little bit. So we're gonna start over here and then work our way out of the building because there's only there's only one way into this building. So this is going to be a bathroom. Oh shoot! Is that I guess one of the cameras? Oh my gosh, it scared me. Wow, see, oh yeah, you can see the steel right here. Like a lot of it's just steel. So there was brick, and then on the other side of that was flagstone. It's really cool, guys. Another fireplace, of course. And there was windows here, glass windows, but vandals came and destroyed it, just like always. That's why we try to protect locations, because people like to destroy them. Okay, I think we're about 13 minutes in, or so, almost 13 minutes. But, what the heck? Hello? I just felt somebody, like, touch me. Keep hearing footsteps. Okay, there's no one here. That's the entrance over there. Is the entrance right there? So this is going to be a bar area. Oh my gosh! Look at all the daddy long legs. Look at him go. Wow. <laughs> and then here's where the spiral staircase is going to be. Right here. Okay. And this is like a through and through. It says, hey, this is a through and through fireplace. Okay. And this right here, guys, I'm sure some of you might know what this is, but this is a. Uh, a uh, brick tie 
I, I know these are bricks, but these would have these on the other side too. But this was for the flagstone, the like two to four inch flagstone, thick flagstone stone wall. And you could see where the glass was broken. The, you had the tinted windows. Oh my gosh, freaking spiders on me. Daddy long legs. No, they're not bad. What the heck? There's a battery here? Down here. This is weird. Oh, almost trip. Oh, you gotta be careful where you walk. The light right there. It's one of the mini cameras they have here. I think that's the only one I've seen with a light. Okay. Well, this goes out to the patio. And I think this one goes out to the patio, too. There's a front and back patio. And there's one on that side, and there's not, what? No, there's a windows on this side. And this right here is the cool thing. So they indented these right here so that it would be like for their stone. I mean, they poured the concrete to fit like perfectly the, the stone and stuff that would be here. Like there would be like, I don't know, like big boulders or something like up here. and So they had to accommodate the concrete for it. It's pretty interesting. So there was 25,000 square feet here. Um, but the new owners took out 4,000. Or I'm sorry, they took out 1,000 square feet to fit the, the design that they're trying to do. I mean, as you can see, this was two levels here. And it went all the way up. I mean, you can see where part of the rafters were here. And I think that's probably what these were right here that went across. I mean, you can see them right there. And the light goes, and they would just be across, and they'd come here. This is really cool. Like, heck, freaking goes all the way to the top. And this is like from the 70s. This is like the woodwork that they had. Like real wood, guys. Like the real were the real stuff. It's very cool. This looks like this went above an archway. Maybe. Maybe not. But look at this entryway, guys. Okay, I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna pan before we go over here. I'm gonna pan. That is literally the only way in. <laughs> That's the only way in right there. But I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to pan around, guys. So that you can see how big this place is. It's huge. Freaking huge. So I am like freaking sweating because it is literally so freaking hot. So this is like the pretty much the that this floor has the most going on then it's the second floor then the third floor is a lot smaller it doesn't have much going on that's going to be like where the bridal where the bride will get ready and everything because this is going to be a wedding venue so the original guy here he loved Appaloosa horses so that was really cool to to see uh, that he actually bred him and his wife at the time they bred Appaloosa horses so they uh, uh, ended up getting a nasty divorce, then everything went downhill, so the mansion was never completed. Then, did y'all hear that?
So, anyways, so they ended up getting divorced, and the first, their first owners, and then they ended up going, and um, uh, the house was never completed. So the second owners came, and they actually were able to put the roof on because there was no roof in the beginning, and they started to try to finish what the first owners started, and that didn't get to happen because the owner of that, the second owner, ended up having a heart attack and dying here on property. There's been two deaths, and I'll get to the second death here in just a minute because it is actually pretty horrible. Uh, but the guy had a heart attack there on the property in the driveway, okay? And then um, the new owners bought it, uh, Isabel Ramey, and they've been turning this place into a wedding venue. So it's not going to be a mansion because before it was going to be a mansion of... Uh, uh, three people this big old 24 25,000 square feet originally 25,000 square feet was going to be for three people I just can't believe it it's, it's pretty hard to believe that's what's, what's going to happen and sorry I keep hearing things and I'm sweating it's here it's so hot in here I got like, I just got goot, instant goosebumps. Okay, let's move on. So, literally at 21 minutes, so. But yeah. Oh, oh, so I forgot to tell you, the glass is still in place here. So that's really cool. What? Goes to the basement, not basement, but the crawl space underneath. But this is the glass. I think it's the only glass in the whole mansion. Matter of fact, it is broken. But this place is really sealed up really tight, so it's really hard to get in here. But so this right here is going. This so this is going to be like office space and everything. So that's pretty cool. And then I just, I can't wait to see this place finished. I really can't. This is be really super, super, super freaking cool. And let's go check this out over here. I ain't freaking creepy. Freaking chair in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this is, so this is the garage. Right, so back, oh, that is so cool. I didn't see this last time. Oh, that's, look at that, handcrafted, guys. Put together, handcrafted. They just don't really make stuff like this like they used to. I mean, all wood, all designed. And so, like, that's so cool. That is just so freaking cool. Uh, yeah, but so this is the garage. Three-car garage. So back then, in the 70s, when this was planned out to be a garage, oh, shoot, so all this glass was supposed to go into that. That's what it looks like. That is cool. That is freaking cool. Um, sorry, I get carried away because it's just stuff. Let me like look. This is like another window, window frame, handmade. Like you just don't see this nowadays. I mean, you don't. I mean, it's very rare to see stuff handcrafted because it just costs so much. I mean, the owner here, the original owner that started this, didn't really, um, you know it. It, he didn't really care for the expenses of it seemed like I mean he, he did a lot of stuff that was overkill I mean being in the constructions just looking at some of this stuff a lot of it was overkill and uh, it's pretty cool I mean the house was built to last that's for sure and just built for like really really neat stuff um, man oh, this, what is that oh, this metal sheeting I thought that was clear 
Oh, well, I thought that was clear. But. Wow. So I guess this would have been like a little miniature attic or something. I just don't build stuff like this anymore. But yeah, this place also has a vineyard too, as well, uh, where they can uh, grow their own grapes. This is like so freaking cool. The staircase is what gets me, guys. I just, I'm always, I feel attracted to this staircase. I mean, look. Just so freaking cool. I mean, just the craftsmanship. And how much money it costs to build something like this. To construct something like this. The idea of constructing something like that's a solid sheet of metal. All the way down. Look at that. Solid sheet. And it stops. So that's a big piece. And then they continue putting a piece there and going up. So. It's a really neat. I wonder what was here. I wonder. So Matt, that must have just been a cool big old window or something. I don't know what this cutout is. And then this was like the main entrance, the main door. So this is going to be really cool. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. But very cool. And there was one spot over here, guys. I wanted to show you. Look at this conduit. <laughs> It's so kind of going up. <laughs> Look at those pipes. Freaking huge. But. I don't know what this room would have been. What is that? It's like a part of a light. It is a part of a light. Oh my gosh. So like a light. Oh. Oh my gosh. There's more broken glass right here. People just want to break stuff. I don't understand why people have to break stuff. It doesn't make sense. So, but anyways, uh, so the second person died of a heart attack trying to explore this place without permission. A lady went missing, and uh, they ended up finding her on the back porch. Here, I'll show you. So right. There's a sensor light camera thing. Right back here. They found her back here on the porch. Right here. So I think this goes out to the porch, I believe. Both of these doors go out to the porch. There's another porch on the other side here. And they found the lady dead on the back porch. Uh, assumably had a heart attack. No, no sure of what happened. Uh, but that's two people here that had a heart attack and died. It's just pretty sad that that happened. So I hope that you're all liking this video. If you are, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, but yeah, um, this is so. This is the place. It's just this is it. very very cool you know what I never inspected this I don't know what this is oh shoot these are ballast lights why would they put ballast lights in an expensive place like this that doesn't make sense okay that's scaffolding why would they do that I don't know why and this is another balcony here so that's pretty much ends it for the explore here, guys. Um, very cool. I heard somebody. Look, look at the goosebumps, guys. I heard somebody walking. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video.
sorry guys. I've been hearing stuff and I felt like somebody was in here, but I don't think anybody's in here. I mean, I'm the only one in here. Unless somebody got in. Man, I don't know, guys. Hello? Hey, you can't be in here. Oh, shoot. Screw that. Screw that. Somebody just moved. I think somebody's in here. I thought somebody just dug behind that corner over there. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Sorry. I'm out. Okay, I'm already up on my 30 minutes anyways. I'm not staying in here any longer. All right, guys. So make sure you smash that thumbs up, and I will see you on the next adventure. So I hope you enjoyed this. Just watch my back. So I hope you enjoyed this explore. Uh, it was pretty different. I wanted to explore it at night just to kind of see. So I also wanted to do a cool 30-minute allowance challenge. So I hope you like it. So, guys, I'll see you next time. So peace. Love you. As always, God bless.